flag in the air and we are back underway. So everybody punches the time clock and goes right back to work. Now making a move, Brian Bernheisel in the 119B underneath Satterley. They'll do battle in turn number four as Ferguson leads up down the front chute. Jamie Lathrum taking very strong advantage of Chuck Harper and then had to just back off as there was no room left. Lathrum trying to fight his way up. Sitting in the 12th spot, making 11th. Lathrum trying to climb in the top 10. Mark Byram and Walker Arthur do battle for fifth. Ferguson, your leader. Oh, and right through the gap in turn number three, threading the needle. Jimmy Bernheisel getting back in the thick of it. Comfortable lead right now for Chris Ferguson. Jamie Lathrum working from the 10th position. Not done yet. Goes for ninth and gets it. Trouble out of turn number four for Jill George. The rear end laying down on the car. Suspension problems on the 22. She stuck her hand out the window. Everybody took evasive action. Jill George done for the event. It's Chris Ferguson, comfortable out front right now. 10 to go, make it nine when they cross the line. Steven Evans, the first car at the rear of the field is who Chris Ferguson will see when he exits turn two. Dan Stone making a bid. Dan Stone making a bid as Greg Satterley calls it tonight. Stoney's making up ground, Dave C. Late stages of the race, eight laps to go. Dan Stone has flipped the switch. Now's the time to make the move if he's gonna make one there. Coming up on some more slower traffic. And uh, it's gonna be his chance to catch up to the back end of Ferguson there in turns one and two, 23 laps on the board, seven remain. And lap traffic could be a deciding factor if this rumble on the River 30, if Dan Stone can get in touch with Chris Ferguson with now just six laps to go. And I tell you, it's now biting time for Chris Ferguson. He may have a choice to make here shortly. He's now coming up on Steven Evans in the number 92. He's gonna have to decide how to get around him in turn number three. He's gonna go to the outside. Steven Evans is gonna stay to the bottom, but he's gonna slide up as they come out of turn four, right in front of the leader. Well, Chris Ferguson has been all alone like the class valedictorian on prom night, but all of a sudden he's got company, and that is the 21D of Dan Stone, but Stone has got to go now if he wants a shot at the $3,000 top prize. We've got four to go this time. And Chris Ferguson again has some heavy lap traffic ahead of him. Stone has cut it down to about four car lengths. Well, you got to admit, Chris Ferguson is dialed in. Dan Stone is hooked up. Those are the only two that are gonna decide it. They pulled away from DJ Myers. We're down to three to go. The two to go signal next time around. Chris Ferguson, another choice to make. Dan Stone running out of time. And Ferguson took a chance down there, but got underneath the 14 of David Taylor. Two laps to go, David. White flag the next time by. Ferguson now picking his way through the lap traffic. Stone stuck. He's lost a good five, six car lengths since getting in traffic as they battle all over the track right now. But it is one lap to go for Chris Ferguson and $3,000. Oh, oh right in front of the leader. That may have just been the move of the race for Chris Ferguson as Jeff Pilkerton looped it going into two with one lap to go. Have you ever heard of a one lap shootout for 3,000 to win? I have now. We'll make sure that it could be two to go. We will check with <laughs> race control to make sure that it is a one lap to go or we will go to a green white checker situation. In this rumble on the river 30, 
extended play at no extra charge. Jamie Lathrop to fit. Don't count him out, folks. Here we go. All right, white flag the next time by Stone. Takes a look to the inside. Can't make it happen. Lathrop gets fourth. fourth. Uh-oh. <laughs> the jet is off the runway. He is going. From dead last. Shotgun on the field. Jamie Lathrop going to run out of laps, though I do believe he has made it to fourth as Chris Ferguson pulls away by about four car lengths from Dan Stone. Now it's DJ Myers and Latham trying to decide who's going to finish third. Well, it's Chris Ferguson with one quarter to go. And he will take a victory here at Virginia Motor Speedway. He wins the Rumble on the River. Dan Stone second oh, at the line. Auto finish and it's going to be DJ Myers. Latham is fourth, Zona fifth. A rumble on the river, $3,000 winner right there, Chris Ferguson. We'll bring Chris around front. <laughs> 30 tough laps. I know you'd rather be in the Commonwealth 100, but next best thing is to pick up a win in $3,000 in the Rumble on the River non-qualifiers race. Chris, what a great run. You had a great battle there with Dan Stone. The car was working flawlessly from this rip. Yeah, I just, uh, I'm, I'm really, really excited to get this. I, I know that we didn't get in the show and everything, but uh, they come from eighth and uh, we had motor problems all weekend, but Randy Clary worked his butt off on our motor and, uh, and it was going just then. And I hate we couldn't get it going earlier, but it's just one of them deals. But man, we, I think we got it, but got it straightened out now, I think. Now it looks like the, the track is starting to slick over a little bit and it's, uh, you're, you're really having to drive it out there on the track. You worked lap traffic immaculately there at the end with Dan Stone just a couple of car lengths back. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I, I want to thank all the lap cars. They held their own line tonight. That was a good deal. Uh, I know that one he kind of lost on the last lap and that was a little close. Uh, but, you know, they all held their line, and I knew he was going to be right behind me because I wasn't really catching him real good at the beginning, and I knew he was good on the top, too, just like me, but uh, I just try to keep my cool, like always. Now, your first trip to Virginia Motor Speedway, what are your thoughts? This track's awesome. Uh, you can race on it. There ain't many tracks like this around here from where I'm from, so uh, I love it so far. Now, i got to point something out. I know you'd like to be in the Commonwealth 100, but, you know, you did make 3000 to start its 2000 in that race. Yeah, that definitely helps the ride home for a fact, no doubt. <laughs> There's your winner, Chris Ferguson, winner of the Royal Rumble non-qualifiers race. We're going to bring Danielle Wilson, Miss Motorsports, in here.